Hey guys, it's Ange with the Feisty Butterfly Tarot, and today we're going to do a read for Libra, and it's going to be a weekly read from June 1st to June 10th. That's a little more than a week, so a week-ish, and we're going to start with some oracle cards, and then we'll dive into some tarot. We're going to see what the energy of the week is feeling like for you, and then a little bit of the more specifics. So we're going to start with some messages from the fairies to see what energies are surrounding you this week. Okay, the energies surrounding you are inspiration, friendship, and a note to look in a book. So, all right, this is what I'm hearing and saying to you. Um, inspiration, be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the Fairy of Inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she'll call on you anytime. So you might be getting these brilliant ideas and you might be wanting to do a little bit of research, look some things up or write some things down even. So look in a book, whatever your question right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you find will bring the insight you seek. Definitely. You've either written it down yourself somewhere or it's in a book that you have in your house. Take a look, see what you've got. You'll find the information. Look on the internet if you need to. Friendship. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. So these are the influences of energy around you right now. That's great. Those are really great. Okay. So we'll dive a little bit into some tarot for you. Let's see what's going on. Which tarot? I think we're gonna go back to this one. And then if we need to clarify, we'll go to a different one. All right. We're going to look for five cards for Libra. Right now also is the guy mowing my lawn. And uh, so we're going to have to be listening to a little bit of that noise because I live in an apartment and they're just going to do what they're going to do. Let me tip the camera up just a little. I think the angle might be a little off. There we go. Hopefully that's a little better. So if I've had my head chopped off this entire time, sorry. If not, well, good. Okay, we'll see what we're doing. Five cards. Five cards for Libra about this week. Their situation, foundation, benefits this week, things that are crowning, things they need to know, and things that are the outcome or the energy towards the end of the week. All right. Okay. Wow. Wow, you've got a fully loaded week. Holy smokes. Okay. I really hope you can see my face because I'm very excited for you on this. All right. In the situation of you is the Hierophant. This is the card where you go to learn things, to get um, deeper understanding, deeper spiritual knowledge of things. This is a card where you're making a commitment to learning or to this new course. Below you, what's driving you is temperance. This is a need for balance and taking the time to balance the spiritual as well as the physical day to day. So both of those things need balance and are, they may be a little bit out of whack. That might be what's driving you, what's pushing you, but take some time to balance those aspects of your world. Right now you have the Ace of Cups in your benefits, what's benefiting you this week. Since it's in reverse, and I don't often read reverses, but I will tell you the caution. The caution on it in reverse is things being overly emotional. Everybody overreactive almost. Too overly reactive, I should say. Everybody's emotions are running high. So when emotion is overflowing in the upright, there's lots of love, lots of good emotional energy around you. But this is not the time to pick a fight. This is not the time to cry your eyes out. This is the time to realize there is plenty of love going around and plenty of the emotions are benefiting you and running around. The next out is the nine of coins, the nine of pentacles. I love this card. This is Miss Independent in my book. 
she's got it going on. She is setting up her house. She's getting things in order. She's out in her garden. Financially, she's doing well. She's got a bird on her hand or her shoulder. She's very aware of what's going on. The garden that she's been cultivating is starting to grow and starting to prosper. This is where your energy should be. This is what's been on your mind, what you're thinking about, what's constantly coming into your mind a lot. This. So whatever this is you're cultivating, remember balance needs to be there. Otherwise, it's going to not help. So balance is driving you. The need for balance is big. And then the Hierophant, where you're recommitting to the spiritual side of things. And this doesn't mean just go to church, go to church, go to church. This definitely means check out your own spirit. What are you doing? How are you feeling when all these emotions are a little bit stir crazy? How can you be more loving and show more love? Because that's what's going to be beneficial for you. That's what's going to allow the kind of peace and serenity that this character has. The next one up is the Empress. Fertility, creation, a time of creating, a time of birthing a new project. Whatever you're working on here, this is a time frame that is going on. And this is totally lush. It's a time to be easy on yourself. And I don't mean slack off. I mean... Be gentle with yourself. Don't be harsh. Be gentle with yourself. Take the extra care that you would need to take. Whether that's extra sleep, extra rest, maybe it's extra cookies, whatever. Take that time to take care and nurture yourself and things are going to flourish all around you. Wonderful, wonderful. That's like, bam, big energy. Okay, we're going to look a little bit deeper about the people that you might be encountering or the personalities you might be encountering this week. So we're going to look in the court cards of the Chrysalis Tarot and also of, oh, that's funny. Okay, of the Crystal Tarot. Page of Cups came up again. I did shuffle these. Page of Cups has been out a lot lately. And this is, a, I'm as young as I choose to feel. And the Illusionist, the Knight of Stones, the Knight of Pentacles. This is like a knight that plans. Um, if, if you're thinking in the terms of magician pulling off a trick, they can't do it if they don't know what they're doing. It's not like somebody grabs a pack of cards and instantly can do a magic trick for you. No, the illusionist is the knight of stones. He's prepared. So he might seem like, well, boring, boring, slow moving, but the knight of pentacles is a slow moving, but very prepared. And then all of a sudden when you need them. They pull a rabbit out of a hat for you. Maybe they find the extra $20 that you need all of a sudden and you didn't anticipate it. So look for the friends that make you feel like magic can happen and that they bring out that side of you, the lighter side of you. But they're also the ones that are loyal and preparing and ready to have your back. Look for them. The Page of Cups. I'm as young as I choose to feel. This doesn't mean be ornery and defiant. It means somebody is there wanting to have that sweetness wanting to have those happy, innocent type moments. Let's look a little bit deeper. Let me put this to the side here. Let me put this to here. Okay. And then, oh, that can go there. This is the majors, the major arcana. Why is he in there? You got you got this. Wait a minute. It's the page of stones. I didn't think he'd be in my jar, can I? I might have to double check those, but page of stones is right before that night of stones. Right beforehand is the page of stones. In the typical um, decks, you'll see this young boy offering a coin. He's ready to go, so prepared, so ready to do something good and to share his talent. And in this, he's clearly got the talent and the skills, and he's this is the acrobat. So he's learning flexibility, learning how to adjust, learning how to adapt, still in that young stage of still learning. We've got a little cheeky little monkey here. All right. And then from the major arcana here, we're going to... I'm going to get all of these. We'll shuffle it just in case. I was going to just pull one, but it didn't slide. The Fool. Okay. 
The Fool, I am guided and protected on my life journey. This is you're at the beginning of something. You're starting something. This is the start of a loving something. Loving in the relationships, emotional relationships. Do not overrun them. Let your emotions be part of what's going on. But be a thinker. Be a thinker. And use this creativity and plan what your next step is. You don't have the swords apparent in here. You have people around that love you, but there isn't any strategists right now. And that might what be what feels a little lacking or might be trickier for you to come to understand or to get put together, to cobble together a strategy. The Fool card says you're on your journey. Excellent. All right. I think we take one more out regarding the look in a book. Look in the book. It says look for research. This is definitely, you need to be look on the lookout for this. And we're going to take this from the Quantum Oracle. Ascended Masters. Okay. All right. So the Ascended Masters are Jesus, Buddha, people that definitely understood how to do life and peace and taught major lessons that left huge impact for hundreds and hundreds of years. Ascended Masters. Look in a book. It could be look in the spiritual books or look to your own spiritual knowing. Look in a book. Learn that lesson, whatever it is. It was always all about love. It was never about anger. And in the week recently, we've seen so much of the protests going on. This next week doesn't need to be as turbulent as what's going on in the external world for you. No, it's a time for you to learn but learn the lessons of love, learn the lessons of commitment, learn the lessons of growing. Look for inspiration, look for friendship, work forward thinking about the projects that bring you independence, the projects that help you feel abundant. That's what I'm getting for you in this read. Remember the temperance. Don't forget that one. This is what's driving you. This is what will drive you crazy if it's out of whack and will drive you forward if you can get a handle on it. Balance. Okay, guys, that's what we got for you, Libra. Hope you have a great time. Subscribe and like. Thanks so much for showing up. Bye.